What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. First and foremost, sorry for the videos yesterday. They sounded a little muffled. Why did they sound muffled, DJ? Well, I may have accidentally used the wrong EQ setting. I used the EQ setting from the live stream that we did on Saturday, the 10 hour live stream. Totally different microphone, totally different setup. It was wrong. It was very wrong, but it's cool because it, well, I did, it sounded okay, it was fine. I didn't notice the difference until I looked back and saw the settings. I was like, eh, eh, oh no. So what do we gotta do today? Well, we got a lot going on. All of the animals, they're just, they, they're needy. They're needy. First things first, we have, uh, we got rain. Rain is bad for straw. So we are gonna come through and we have gotta collect all of this straw as fast as possible. Unfortunately for us, we can't go any faster than 12 miles an hour. So what I've done is I've got the largest thing that we can get the shooting maker. This holds, what, 56,000 and a couple hundred, something like that. This should get us done fairly quickly, but still, none. I mean, it's going to take us twice as long to do, or half as long to do this as it did to harvest, which is good, but still, it's going to take forever because we've got so much on here and because we did oats. There's so much straw. Oh my goodness. So we've got to do everything we can to get as much of this straw up as possible, as fast as we can. Oh, this rain, I tell you what, when uh, a good buddy of mine that I went to school with said, when it rains, it pours. You guys know who I'm talking about there, talking about Luke Combs. That's right. DJ used to play at the same bar as him in college. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact about DJ. All right, we got to keep rocking. We got to keep moving and grooving. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish the full headland around before we fill up here. Regardless, we got to get all of this up, and I know this is a lot of straw. Since we've got our first load right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this to the animals that need it. That would be the pigs and the cows. Sheep do not need straw. Let's open this guy up. I do keep these closed so the pigs can't get out. Obviously, they can't. For, for, for the doing it's sake. Now, if you do let Clutch on your farm, I will warn you, he will open all your doors, leave them opened, and run away going, Yee! be careful. <laughs> be careful. They'll do it. Do we get them all? We got them. Piggies are good. There they go. Let's close this guy up right here. And then, of course, our cows are going to be at the exact same place, exact same place over here. Oh, they need cleaning up too. We've got wool that's building up. Woo! Everything is everything. That means it is all good. Let's back this thing up right in here. Man, this rain is killing us today. Oh my goodness. Open it up. Bam. Got it. Back it up. Come on. Nice. Oh, don't back it up like that. No, don't stop backing it up badly. Here we go. Easy. See, this is why FS17 was easy to back stuff up because the turning was not laggy. Now, I understand that with, uh, with the way it is, with Farming Simulator the way it is right now, they make the steering a little laggy so that while you're doing it, it seems realistic. You know, you turn and it kind of goes with the steering wheel, more or less. Oh, I suck. And if you've got a real steering wheel, this is not a problem because you can't turn it that fast. But if you're playing with a controller, as I am playing with an Xbox One controller, you have a bit of an issue. Oh no, two issues. <laughs> Three issues, crap. <laughs> I'm so done having issues with steering. I just, I don't wanna have problems anymore. We good, we good, we good. Everything's good, everything is good. All right, we've gotta get all this straw off. It's gonna take us a bit of time. We have gotta get it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue to get all of this straw off of the ground. If anything crazy happens, I'll jump in. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the rest of this up.
Now that all of the straw has been gotten up, we are good. We got a whole lot of straw. Look at that. 429,000 liters. That's right. 429,000 liters. We had been keeping up with silage and hay levels, but not now. No, not even close now. We're going to have to do another hay harvest here soon. Uh, we got to do it quickly. Let's get these lights turned on. Got to get everybody straightened up and everybody clean. I'll tell you what, they're... They are dirty. Let's go through here, get all this. There we go. Pig food is got and it is being put down. I do like how Farming Simulator 19, the pigs put down pig food. They don't put down corn. They don't throw corn out. They put down pig food regardless of what you fed them. And I like that. I like that a whole lot. There we go. Only thing is the sheep still put out grass. Nothing wrong with that. It is what it is. I'm not complaining. I'm just... If I had it my way, I'd do it different. <laughs> but, unfortunately, the cows... Well, the good, I guess the good thing is the cows don't spit out different things now. They don't spit out... What was it? Grass? Was that right? I think they spit out grass. Now they spit out silage, which does stink as well. But at least we've got silage to clean up, and you can move and put it where you want to. And not... Is it, I was about to say, does that cow have its head through the wall? It does. Oh no, come back. Come back. I want to see you heading the wall again. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I will not use that as the thumbnail. Oh, and he's gone. Just if you saw it, you saw it. If you didn't, you didn't. Oh, that's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Rock it through here. Let's see. So I know we've got to feed them. Straw is good, I know, but I know they need food. Cleanliness will go up. Water, we're definitely going to need some water. And, of course, our piggies need everything. So let's run through that. What about our fields? Is there anything we could do right now? Let's see. So we need lime on 32 and 33. Not in between, but we do need it around this area here. Uh, let's see. Grass area is still good. And we do have a state of fertilization on 29. So whenever we rock through, we'll be good. We'll say this, cotton ready to be harvested. So we may come through there and get the cotton a little bit later. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get everybody done, get everybody fed and, and kinda got what they got. I have a truck around here somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. We are going to need this because I don't have a normal tipper. So if we had a normal tipper, we would be just fine. But unfortunately, we do not. Actually, did we? Well, no, it don't work out. I got the ticker. I was going to say, we could use the auger wagon, but because of how many animals we have and how much stuff that we need to do, I think that it's more beneficial if we just use a tipper. Semi tipper. Yeah. So we need TMR over here with the cows. We need everything with the pigs. And we need hay over with the sheep. If we've got grass. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. But I don't think we have any grass. That is a negatory there, good buddy. So let's open this up. What do we have here? Oats? Oh, we already have oats. How many, uh, how many oats do we have in here? Because oats, last I checked, price was going up. Yeah. Garden center. Price is going up for these guys in there. Let's, um... Yo, let's fill this thing the rest of the way up. Maybe let's fast forward a little bit so we can get through this rainstorm. And... Make some money off of these oats. We've been going through, and I'm convinced that this is about as high as it's going to go. It has been going up a little bit, but I think this is as high as I want to go with it. $1,957. Let's sell 43,700 some odd liters of this. Let's see just how much we can get. How much money are we going to get off of this? I think a lot. I think a lot is in order. Yeah, that is a whole lot for that much. $85,000 for oats. Freaking oats, man. <laughs> Let's take a look here. How are we doing on just stuff? How's our hay looking? Should we buy hay or should we keep the hay? Mm, I think... You know what? I think we'll be okay, at least for now. Especially since we've got plenty of silage. we got hay and everything. Everything is good. I'll tell you what we might do. We might come back a little bit later on. Because I want to get some grass to start working on silage harvest. I really don't want to have to do the grass. Because all the grass that we do kind of turns into hay. 
And unless we do one massive grass harvest, I just don't think that's going to be enough for us. So the great thing about Mercury Farms is we can buy... You know what I am going to do? I am going to do a load of manure real quick. Just do that real quick, real quick. <laughs> uh, the great thing about it is we can sell all these crazy stuff and we can buy pretty much everything except for silage. Well, you think you can not buy silage, but in a way you can. Let me explain. You start off with silage bunkers, correct? Yes. You say, well, speaking of, we got new silage bunkers. Oh, we should put one down. Yeah, yeah. Yo, we might do that. We got to find one that looks perfect, though. Uh, I know the area in the middle looks kind of weird without bunkers, but I think that we might be able to do it to where we can do just one and be fine. Now, this is kind of funky to get in here. Sometimes you got to swing it a little bit. Sometimes it works best if it's at the back. Sometimes it works best. Ah, yeah, there we go. We got it. Who is pouring out and it is pouring into the trailer and this is not going to be very expensive not expensive at all let's finish this up let's take this over sell it get a little bit of money and we'll head back over to the farm oh my thirty eight thousand three hundred and twenty one dollars oh that is really hard not to do one more than one load up but that is a yeah, well, you know, I mean, we cheat sometimes, but I think that's just a bit too much, especially for what we need to do today. I don't see any reason to do that. So we've got that. Everything is good. We don't need manure, so there's no point in buying it. So how about this? Let's head back over. I want to go ahead and figure this, uh, figure this thing out. I want to figure this bunker out a little bit. See if we can place down a new bunker. Maybe be a little bit bigger. Maybe be a little bit smaller than what we've got. Doesn't really matter. It's just something new and different and exciting, and I love it. Y'all yeah, love it. All right, here we go. We've got a little bit of time. Man, this rain. It said that I was about to say snow. Sun is on its way. However, it ain't here yet, baby. It ain't here yet. So these are pretty deep in there. Let's go ahead and find them in our own section, and let's get these sold. So bunker silo. Boom. 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 So we've got this area roughly plus a little bit to work with. So let's take a look at what we've got. So let's go into silos and we've got some new ones here. We've got the bunker silo closed, medium, well, small, medium, and big. Let's take a look at medium. Oh, medium's too small. Big is actually just right. If I'm not mistaken here, big seems to be the one to go with. Should we just sh shove this smack down right here in the middle? What do you guys think? I'm, I'm kind of okay with this. We've got a little bit of room. Actually, we've got a lot of room all around. It does seem kind of weird not to have one in the middle, but since we got rid of everything, having it this way doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So I think having it this way would make some sense. So let's get everything lined up just about right. I think that's squared off. Let's get that put down. It is going to create this huge area around it in concrete. We will not be using that concrete area. Bang! And then now, let's go in here and let's take our tools, this guy right here, and the paint tool. And we want to do in dirt. There we go. Come around through there in dirt. Same thing around the back. I don't want a bunch of dirt. Actually, did that go inside the bunker as well? Nope, that did not go inside the bunker, so we are good there. And then same thing through here. I don't want to see all that concrete sticking out the side. I like to keep it nice and dirt. That is what Mercury Farms is. There's that. I think that's about right. I know we've got this area here, but I don't feel that we can do much of that. So can we? Yeah, we can. Let's go in like this. Just like that. Nothing too crazy. Doesn't have to be fancy. Just has to be. There we go. So now on all sides, there is no concrete showing on all sides. Perfect. A little bit sticking out the front. Should we have a little bit sticking out the front or not? Hmm. Question. I think we should. I think it'll be okay. So there you go. There is our concrete bunker right smack dab in the middle of our field. Field? 
farm. Yes, farm. So we've got that. Now I think, let's see, where where's our truck? Here we go. Now that we've got that done, we do need to feed the animals. They are going to be running low on food, and we don't want that to happen. First things first, we're going to take care of the pigs since they're right here. Pigs take a multitude of different things, and if you guys know, we are doing main, uh, main crops for the pigs. We are not giving them pig food, though we do have some pig food, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, we have 54,000 liters of pig food, but we're not giving them the pig food. First things on the list is going to be corn, so we need to roll through, find that corn, and then jump in and see how much corn we really need to be giving them. Around 30,000 liters. So when this hits about 30,000 liters, we're going to quit. There's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I know, no, no counting. I get it, I get it. There we go. Bang. About 30,000 liters. That should be more than enough to top off the corn. We're going to do this with every single crop. We're not doing it with just the one. We're going to top off every single crop as long as we've got enough of it. That is why we are doing wheat. That is why we're doing corn. That's why we are doing canola. That's why, well, we're still rocking. <laughs> At the, uh, if you guys remember when we first started this map, there was one field that was sugar beets. And I said, do you want me to get out of here, birds? Yeah. I said, do you want me to... Uh, do anything with that or should we um should we leave it and you guys were like no 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 do the do it do it do it so we did it and i did not enjoy it and everything was cool and we ended up getting a lot of sugar beets for the pigs which was great so that we've got that done next thing on the list i believe is either going to be wheat or canola let me double check and see let's go down the list wheat it is wheat, and it looks like everything's going to be roughly twenty to 30000 So we're going to go through here. Let's get all this done. See you in a second. We've got everybody taken care of so far. The pigs are good. The sheep are good. And we've got a whole load of TMR right here. That's right. You can put TMR in the silos here on Mercury Farms, which is phenomenal. Let's get this dropped off here. A little bit further, a little bit further. There we go. We will need to do water. We still have not done water yet. That is going to be the next task. Come on, baby. See, I don't know how much they need. It was in the green, but it said 140, 150,000. So I don't know if they're going to take all of it. I think they're going to take it all. They took every bit of it, but they're almost at the top. I think that's all right. There you go. So they're good. We got a new animal roughly every day. So that's cool. The sheep, we're getting one every about 21 hours. And the pigs, every two and a half hours. <laughs> we got 63 pigs, my goodness. All right, water is next. We do not need this tipper anymore. So let's swing this by. Let's back it up. Let's get the water. Uh, we will be going over to the lake and maybe doing a water load. We might. See, I don't know if we will or not. And I know it's free money, but it's like, eh. Did we? Yeah, we might as well. We might as well make a little bit of extra cash while we're out. After a load of water, we are up to $188,000. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We are doing well here on Mercury Farms. We've got some water here. We're going to start at the pigs and work our way around because I know that the cows need the most slow down. Oh, yeah. There we go. Just hit the wall. I know that the cows need the most, so I want to make sure that we at least get some into the pigs. There we go. Pigs are good, and we'll get some into the sheep. Sheep don't need hardly any. They barely need any water. Uh, fun fact, sheep were the first animals that I ever did. Um, I did sheep, and then I did pigs, and then I did cows. I learned how to do them all in 17. There we go. They're good. Yeah, they didn't need anything. And then this last bit right here is going to go over here to the cows. So if you guys have never done animals before and you're wanting to get into it and learn how, I highly recommend doing sheep first. Do that until you're comfortable with it. Don't, don't do anything else. Don't go crazy. Don't go all in because it's going to get overwhelming. Learn how to do each animal. Learn how to do them right. Learn how to do them the way you like to do them. So for example, if you would prefer to give the sheep grass instead of hay, 
Well, do it that way. That's totally cool. You don't have to give them hay. I would give them grass every time. I think that's a great idea and is much cheaper and much easier to come by. There we go. Drop that off. So we are good here. We are good there. We are good everywhere. One thing that I did see and I kind of want to go do because we've got a decent price for it is over at Windmill Hill. We have a really good price for barley. Well, and guess what? We don't use barley for anything. There we go. So let's get this. Normally, I would say let's get rid of the um, the wheat and not the barley. But the barley right now is making good money. So let's go get rid of the barley and let's keep the wheat. All in all, very good. Farm's coming along great. I would like to do a little bit more work around and kind of make it look our own. What I mean is, let's say by field 32, 33 up in between G1 and G2, that area there, I like the area. But it's kind of not difficult to get in and out. It could be easier to get in and out right there. So I think what I may do is go through and create some pathways and that kind of thing. Did I come up here without anything in my... Arr! Back to what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my idiocracy. Uh, we are... I don't even remember what I was saying anymore. <laughs> Everything is going good on the farm. It is nice, but I would like to do a little bit more work. And uh, some may be off screen, some may be on screen. Either way, I want to get some stuff done. Oh, slow it down. There we go. Get this done. Get this unloaded. See if we can get in here and get the... Uh, get the yeah, I want the gold. Yeah, Jim, let me have the gold. Ooh, what if we sneak up on it? No, darn it. $45,000. That put us over 200 grand. Right now, this is some of the best money we've made so far. I want to keep this going, keep it moving, and keep it grooving, baby. With that being said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure you give us a like. If you didn't, you know what button to hit. If you haven't already, make sure you get subscribed. And if you are subscribed, hey, what up? <laughs> I don't know what to say. You guys are here. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a whole lot of fun. I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.